it's time for the Reading Community Gospel Choir. What is the song? This is a Bermudan version of this little light of mine. How do you add a, a Bermudan twist on it then? Well, it's not quite a twist, but it's just a nice lilt, a little nice, a nice lilt and gospel chords and gospel vibe to it. and blend how good was that performance do you know when all singers were singing that was absolutely fantastic and i thought wow this choir has really set the cat amongst the pigeons now because that was so much better than last week my little tip to you is when you're in your smaller sections they those vocals need to punch out and be a lot harder but the arrangement amazing i mean amazing arrangement and complex really beautiful and a great wall of sound coming at me so i loved that Moira, what did you think of their treatment of such a familiar hymn? Your version, I have to say, was so convincing. Uh, and I can only imagine how far you've come as a choir. So all I can say to you is, please keep going. You keeping on uh, does wonders for UK gospel. Let your light shine, Ready? Let it shine. <laughs> on that note, Sharon, did their light shine for you? You guys so up to your game this week. You're like, this is the final and we are going for it. And it's so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Reading Community Gospel Choir. 
Describe in words what it means to the choir to be here. It means so much to us. We're all from so many different um, backgrounds, walks of life, but for us to come together and be able to sing gospel music, something that we all love, it's just amazing. Next up is the turn of a choir who made a big impression last week. It's the Big Sing Gospel Voices. This week we're going to come out with something completely different. We're singing a song called I Found the Answer, which is written by one of our co-founders of the Big Sing, um, Howard Francis. So we're going to come out, we're going to come out like boxer, we're going to come out fighting, we're going to get the audience involved, it's going to be amazing. Like a boxer, you look more like Sam Smith tonight. A little bit, but I've got the boxer inside, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to fight. Sharon, there was a lot of joy on this stage. You're looking quite serious. Did you enjoy that performance? I did enjoy it. Um, what I'm going to say is here we are at the final, and for me, there were just parts where, because you've got a, a, a solo vocalist, parts of the choir weren't singing at all, weren't doing anything. And I, I really need to hear the choir going for it full all the way through. Okay, Carrie, do you agree with that, or do you think the balance of choir and soloists worked? Oh, guys, I loved you so much last week. I actually, totally, I feel disappointed. I feel like I've watched a show. I feel like I've watched a West End show. I've not watched a choir. I feel like you've sung your Guilty Pleasure song and not your choir song. You were amazing. You were phenomenal last week. I do not know why you chose to sing that song. Moira. A couple of things I'd like to say. If you ever start a choir in my part of London, I want you to be my choir conductor. Yeah. Uh, 
I so connected with the, with the man and your performance, but I have to confess, there were, there were moments where I was distracted because as a choir, it's about doing stuff in concert, and there were a couple of people that just weren't doing it, and it, it, it distracted me, but I did like it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Big Sing Gospel Voices. Alex, how was it for you? To sing with a full choir at this level, it's like a dream come true. So really, those comments are completely valid. That every, you know, everybody has an opinion. But one of the, the things the big sing says, we are one. Mm. So I didn't feel separate. I didn't feel they were different from us. They are, we, we sing call and response, and that's a big part of gospel.